Okay, we are in the section 15.4, associate legenda function and associate legenda equation. So now um, this is the associate legenda equation. We got that form um, in solving the Laplace equation or Poisson equation using separation of variables. The theta equation will be of this form with x equals to cosine theta. So 1 minus x squared is sine squared theta. So there's a sine squared theta here, and there's a sine squared theta here in this term in the denominator. So that's uh, what we originally got. But uh, for the case with cylindrical symmetry, we can set m equals to 0. So that equation becomes uh, the Legenda equation and the solution, uh, the Legenda polynomials. So that indicate by an L with the eigen value, lambda equals to L times L plus one. L, L, and L is zero or or positive integers. So that what we have been talking about. Now if we go back to the equation with m not zero, then uh, we can use the same form and same lambda uh, equals to l times l plus one, but now it depends also on m. So uh, the function, the solution, we have this subscript L, but we add the superscript M here. Add the superscript M. M. So this is a superscript of the notation, not a power or exponent. So these PLM uh, for the case of uh, integer M, which later will restrict the integer M, they are called associate legenda function. Okay, so. Uh, they are the solution of this equation with non-zero m. And also from this equation, you know that uh, the, this term depends on m squared. So the solution for m, positive m, and negative m for the same m, um, they are related. They are satisfying the same equation. Okay, And because of this 1 over 1 minus x squared term, um, the solution becomes uh, not as nice as the Legenda equation. So the first thing we do is to do a transformation of variable. Instead of talking PLM, we uh, use introduce another f factor to so that uh, after the transformation of variable, hopefully the equation becomes nicer. Of course, we already know that will happen. So if we just follow the uh, the usual way to define the transformation. So we define PLM x equals to a factor of this factor 1 minus x squared to a certain power m over 2. And this power is chosen such that the resulting equation is nicer and then multiply by a new variable, which we call, following your textbook, call it script p. Okay, so that's the that's the idea. So do a transformation like that, and get an equation for this script p, and hopefully that equation is nicer than this equation. Okay, and this script p supposedly also depends on L m, but we will ignore that so that uh, save some saving for now. Okay, so uh, to get an equation for script p, we just substitute this into this equation, okay, and the, to get to substitute, the first thing you have is this uh, derivative, plm pi, so that would be straightforward, take a derivative of this one or this one, so there will be two terms, one is taking derivative of script p, the other taking derivative of this term, so plm pi, will be equals to so 1 minus x squared 
m over 2 squared p prime. So the first term, the second term, the derivative of this one. So take a derivative of this one, your m over 2, and then 1 minus x squared m over 2 minus 1, and derivative of this one, we give you a negative 2x. So the 2x, the 2 cancel with this m over 2, the 2 in the denominator. So finally, you have minus m times x, and then 1 minus x squared m over 2 minus 1 squared p. Okay, so that the this one. All right. Then the next one, supposedly we can two this, take the second derivative by taking one more derivative over this one. But another way to do it is uh, to remember that these two terms actually combine into the derivative of 1 minus x squared times this one, the, the PLM pi, because uh, this is coming from the original self-adjoint form. Okay, so we can multiply this by 1 minus x squared and then to do the derivative and that will take care of these two terms. Okay, so that what we'll do, so we'll take the derivative d dx of 1 minus x squared times these two terms. So you have 1 minus x squared m over 2 plus 1 squared p pi and then minus 1 minus x squared times this when you cancel this cancel with the minus 1 factor so we have m x times 1 minus x squared m over 2 times squared p okay and that will be equals to so you have two terms and taking the derivative of that will give you three terms actually the first term is taking the derivative of p, script p pi, so, so you have 1 minus x squared and over 2 plus 1 script p double pi. And the second term will be taking the derivative of this one times p pi, script p pi, and the uh, uh, I take the derivative of this one and then take a derivative of this one, they will be of the same form, only the coefficients are not the same, so we need to figure out the coefficient. So the coefficient here is minus m, okay, and for this one, you take a derivative of this one, you get m over 2 plus 1 times 1 minus x squared to the power m over 2, and then uh, times minus 2x. The minus 2 at the 2 will multiply this one becomes m plus 2 and then you have x extra 1 so m uh, uh, you have uh, 2m plus 2 which is 2m plus 1. Okay so uh, but then you multiply a 2x so you have 2m plus 2 and so to minus 2 m plus 1 okay and then multiply by x 1 minus x squared m over 2 and then script p pi all right and the final term is still a derivative of this one okay and so so there so you have minus m in front so you have this factor, uh, two factors, x and this one. And when you take the derivative of x, you just get 1, and you have this factor. When you take the derivative of this factor, you have m over 2 times this factor to the power m over 2 minus 1. So you can pull the m over 1 minus x squared times m over 2, power m over 2 out. So, so 1 minus x squared, power m over 2 times the first one is 1, the second one would be uh, would be m over 2, this would be m over 2 times uh, 
divided by. So m over 2 divided by 1 minus x squared and then times the minus 2x, so you have minus uh, m x. So, and then you have multiply by x also, so minus x squared, 1 minus x squared. Okay, so times script p. Okay, so that's all three terms from this derivative. So this one is this one and this one. Okay, finally you need to add this term and this term you substitute this one. Okay, so you know that all these terms have this factor. You have this factor here, one of minus six square m over two, one over minus six square m over two and similar here. And this one have the same factor, so we can uh, cancel that out, and so we only need to keep for this one. We only need to keep one minus x square, and then multiply by script p double pi. For this one, you have a minus two times m plus one times x script p pi. Okay. And then for this one, you have minus m, 1 minus m x squared divided by 1 minus x squared. Okay, and this is script p. And then you have this one, plus l times l plus 1 minus m squared over 1 minus x squared times script p that equals to zero. So that's the that's the equation. And then uh, now you group this one and that one. Now when you group them, so you consider this term both have a one minus x squared in the denominator. For this one you have um, minus m times minus m, so m squared times x squared. So this one is m squared minus 1, so totally is m squared times x squared minus 1. So this x squared minus 1 divided by 1 minus x squared will give you a minus, minus sign, so minus m squared. So this term will give you, this two term combined with, with becomes a minus m squared. Okay, so you can rewrite this one. So you have uh, all together, you have L times L plus 1, and then you have minus M, and this one is minus M squared. So square P. Okay, or you can combine the two M, M minus M minus M squared is minus M times M plus 1. So you can write that M plus 1. That equals to zero. Alright, so this is the equation for this script P. Now you get rid of the 1 minus x squared in the denominator. Supposedly this one will have nicer solution. And there will be a condition for that. And to, to see the condition, we need to solve this equation um, using the first we'll use the power series method then uh, see that this solution, this, the solution script P will truncate into a polynomial if a certain condi condition satisfies and then M is actually an integer. Okay, that will be next time.